The Russia investigation was already sort of a mess in some parts. This is going to make a far bigger mess. The first thing I thought about was the Saturday Night Massacre in 1973. In a way that a lot of things that Trump does that people react to are not, this one actually is a big deal. Uh, so, Donald Trump has been thinking about firing James Comey in some way or another, basically since he was inaugurated, but this was still a huge shock when it happened. The expectation was if he was going to do this, that he would have done it right after he was sworn in. The fact that he waited several months and right when the Russia investigation is picking up steam is problematic for him. The first thought a lot of people had, of course, was Watergate. Forty-four years ago, Richard Nixon was being investigated by a special prosecutor, and he ordered him fired, Archibald Cox, and it was called the Saturday Night Massacre because the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General both refused to go along with it and resigned in protest. It's hard to think that the two people, some White House aide decided President Trump should be seen with the day after firing his FBI director who was leading a Russia probe, was the Russian Foreign Minister and Henry Kissinger. It's, 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 uh, it was like they were trying to raise comparisons themselves almost. This all looks terrible, and at this point, even if there was nothing to show in the Russia investigation, even if there's no there there, it now looks like there's a cover-up. You know, this is one of the classic examples, the cover-up's worse than the crime. We don't even know if there's a crime being committed, but we do know that right now, to a lot of people in Washington, it looks like the White House doesn't want it properly investigated. Typically, you would see a president let an investigation play out. He has not done that. And so even the people around him who agreed that Comey should be gone, and there are many of them, uh, it was the timing that a lot of his own allies and advisors took issue with. Ever since Watergate, presidents have really tried to avoid getting on the wrong side of FBI directors, and, and they don't tend to fire them. That's not something that happens very often. The one time it happened was 1993. President Bill Clinton, relatively new in office, fired William Sessions. But in that case, Sessions had been accused of ethical violations. You've now had a very clear pattern where the president has fired two officials who defied him on what they thought were substantive policy issues. Sally Yates, the former acting attorney general, and now Jim Comey, who has refused to say there's nothing there in the Russia investigation. And this official calls me up and says, you know, if you're getting shot for telling the emperor he has no shoes, who's going to tell him he has no clothes? That the chilling effect on bureaucracies is terrible. This is already unusual, and it's a president who has violated norms or crossed through norms or ignored norms over and over. That's part of why he was elected, is that he did that. There are people who continue to investigate. That's how law enforcement is. The CIA will continue to do its job. The NSA will keep surveilling foreign officials. But how much of this will be filtered up, how much of it will be centralized and actually be part of an investigation is unknown. And that has tremendous knock-on effects. Look, I, I think people need to be uh, pretty vigilant about understanding how unusual this is and not letting this blend into, that's Trump being Trump. This is incredibly strange to have a sitting president fire uh, an FBI director who was overseeing an investigation into that president's campaign. Watergate is still a term that reverberates 40 some odd years later, right? There is a reason for that. And uh, he has been compared to Nixon. After Nixon fired uh, Archibald Cox, it still took another 10 months until he was forced to resign. But it really was uh, a beginning of an end for him. It, it really convinced a lot of his own defenders that maybe something had been going on here that he was trying to hide. Watch whether Congress acts, watch whether Republicans start moving away from the president. That's really the clearest sign of where this is headed. And this is actually not the end of the story. It's probably only really the beginning.